Good morning and welcome back to the channel everybody. Um, yeah, so in this video we're just going to go over our, our Easter break. We headed down to the Bournemouth um, Sandbanks area. We were staying at a, a Park Dean site which was Sanford. Um, yeah, and, and in this video we're just going to give you a bit of a tour of the park just so you, you get to see what to expect if you're thinking about coming down this way. Um, like I say, there's, there's quite a bit to do actually on the park itself. Um, Again, the usual sort of activities that you would expect from sort of uh, that kind of um, company. Like I say, it's very similar to our Haven site. Um, but um, yeah, we thought we'd just give you a bit of a tour and um, hopefully this will give you an idea of uh, what to expect if you're heading this way. So as I've mentioned before, like the Haven site we, we visited recently, Park Dean's no different in, in the terms of if, if, you're, if you're thinking about coming down and, and doing a number of the activities, just make sure you look out for the notifications of when you can pre-book these. Because um, yeah, as always, they're going to be booked up um, well in advance. Um, so yeah, yeah, certainly have a look. You've got the swimming, um, indoor, outdoor pools, um, and, and you'll see through this video, there's a number of other things, uh, high ropes, archery, that kind of thing. So yeah, you definitely need to get in early. Otherwise, like I say, you'll, you'll be disappointed when you try and attend site and you won't be able to get on anything. So um, yeah, always look out for the notifications um, or you can do it online in your booking area. It, it should tell you then as well how many, it does a countdown of how many days until you, until you visit the site, um, but um, yeah, I can't stress that enough really. So when you're approaching Sanford, this would probably be the, the main entrance that you come in. This is the way the sat navs normally take you. Um, it's quite a tight corner here, but yeah, just give it plenty of room and you'll get around fine. So the park is actually on your left as we're about to go into um, something I'll touch base on a bit later but there is a pub just past the exit literally 30 seconds there up the road which does really good food um, but um, yeah I'll mention that in a bit so this is the main entrance this is where the main entertainment space is reception you've got a few parks small one and then a bigger one here for the kids um, on the right um, you've got trampolining and that kind of thing in this area um, and, and your swimming pool is in this location and just there on the right is a, just a shop so again has most of the majority of the stuff that you need now this is your main area um, and road into the actual touring um, location you'll just follow all the way through And again, if you hire out any of the buggies, um, carts, things, um, again, you can sort of go down this area and, and just follow it around. But there is only one way into the touring area from the main entrance, and this is it. Um, obviously, yeah, we're driving through all the main statics, and that is sort of the majority of, of the actual park to start with. That the front is all loaded with um, static caravans, and the touring section is at the rear of the park itself. But to get from there to the actual main um, entertainment is only sort of a, a five minute walk, if that. So you'll take a left here, which is the, the main road all the way down and just here on your left hand side is the actual uh, reception so you can pull it pull in here on the left and go in and get your your welcome pack and information and stuff like that once you've been given access obviously you'll have um, uh, number plate recognition as well so it'll just let you through to the park um, and, and the building you can see in front is the activity centre um, for booking anything. So we did have a bit of a runaway uh, trike here, but um, yeah, not something you normally see on the park to be fair. And, and obviously in this main building here, you've got all the sort of washrooms, male, field, male, um, changing rooms, washrooms and stuff. And here's just a number of the pictures that you can see. Just there on the left we're coming up to is just where they've put in a, um, some of these new safari huts. There's just one row of those, but again, they're something that you can uh, pre-book. Uh, 
and on site there's a number of different pitches that you can select i'll leave a description um a map in the description below as normal and again it gives you an idea of the electric pitches non-electric and sort of different sizes that you can actually hire here again you've got uh, shower blocks there on your left which have just been redone the new ones um, a few more up here which the from the existing block but it gives you an idea of the size of the, the site itself And these pictures, like I say, these will take um, most size caravans, um, again, with ease. And then these ones are obviously a hard standing pictures uh, um, and, and awnings as well. So again, if, if you're coming in the sort of colder months where it's going to be a bit wet, then again, you've got an option of these pictures here. Again, they've got electric and water directly on each one of these pictures. So this is the kids obviously just getting set up, they're about to go on the high ropes. Um, yeah, something they they were looking forward to and it wasn't too busy at the time for once. So um, yeah, just getting kitted up and ready to ship out. Quite a nice uh, course they've set up here. It is quite recently installed, apparently. So um, right, yeah, no, it's uh, it is a good setup. Um, probably take anything sort of from half an hour to forty minutes. Really depends on obviously how busy it is at the time and if people are really struggling to get around. But um, no, well worth a, a well worth a visit. Just on the right hand side here you can start seeing the edge of the football pitch and basketball pitch. Again, free to use, just in case of just yeah, just seeing how busy it is at the time or just go and joining in, which is what we normally do quite a, uh, a lot of the time. The archery is well worth a visit, I'd say it's sort of 45 minutes for the session. Um, they play a number of different games with the target, but um, yeah, go through all the sort of how to use a bow and then get into some of the games um, with some of the other people um, attending the site. But um, yeah, really good, good fun and kids love that. Oh, I think I see a lot of 
table tennis, uh, this is a, a free uh, sport to do. You just need to go down to the um, sports activity hub and, and just go and request the bat and balls from there. So the girls decided to take out their pedal carts, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how safe they were actually on the roads. <laughs> so if you're looking at this first video, Yeah, you gotta give way. <laughs> so Chloe and Charlie decided to uh, yeah they carry on the, the cart. So this gives you a good idea of the different pitches and the sizes. I say that they are a good size. Most of these pitches on the sort of far end of the park. Um, Children. Obviously, these all have electric hookup, but again, you you will be sharing your, uh, the, the water points uh, on a lot of these pitches, apart from the, the far one, which I spoke about earlier. Oh yeah, the door. Come on and see. We'll do that when we come back from the pub. How many doors have we got to find? So this is still within the touring area but um, up the other end and again this used to be where you could actually have um, tents uh, in the past but they've just redone this with sort of luxury uh, lodges now so there's probably half a dozen down here all with hot tubs um, that you can rent out um, yeah all, all look like uh, high spec but um, yeah if that's the kind of thing that you're after again that they accommodate for that as well and it's just all behind the actual um, activity centre part where you've got the high ropes the football pitch and the archery And as I mentioned before, when we first come into the touring section, okay, this is the new part where they've got these sort of um, lodges. Um, again, you can rent these out. There's one complete row of these um, sort of safari tents. So me and Charlie decided to go and do one of our other activities. So in your welcome pack, you get the option here to go and um, find all the, the doors around the actual touring section. There is about 20. So it gives you a good chance to just go ar ar around the actual touring section and just explore and find all the different things. Um, yeah, it could probably take you a good hour or so to, to do this, but yeah, something that uh, Charlie liked doing. Yeah. This is where I in the and obviously now we've sort of gone off down one of the park sections, we've picked up Roxy. Um, and yeah, just carried on exploring because yeah, it, it's certainly we weren't sure of the actual size of this in terms of where these doors were, but um, yeah, it turned out to be yeah quite a good um, activity and like yeah, I say, a good wander around, around just to see all, all different sections. Okay. Oh, 
So they have got a small dog park here. Again, it is quite small and limited, but again, it's there's something there you can use um, depending on the size of your dog. But um, yeah, it's up um, down the far end of one of the touring sections as you come in on the left-hand side. So you just follow all the way down. Um, but um, yeah, it's not a bad size. So this is the Bear Grylls area that you can book online as a separate activity as well. We didn't get around to doing it this time round, but um, yeah. It looked like a quite a good setup, and I think it's sort of like an hour experience um, doing different survival skills. It's Again, they've got so like um, a laser um, battle zone here that you can again rent out in the activity zone. But um, yeah, I think this is quite new for this year actually, and um, yeah, it certainly looked good fun when we saw people playing this. So this is now back at the front of the park. This is where you've got a few smaller parks and trampolining, that kind of thing. As well as your swimming pools. This is your outdoor pool, heated, both of them are. Um, and again, nice in the summer. Certainly just a good place just to chill out and relax. Your inside pool, uh, again, not massive, but again, big enough. Um, just to go and have a swim, but again, you will need to pre-book this. And the aqua jets, this is something, yeah, the kids, the girls really liked. Okay, this was from about and it ended up being sort of like about 35 minutes and a number of different games being played but um, yeah first time they'd used these but yeah something that they'd want to do again based on the, the amount of fun and uh, the way they, they spoke about it afterwards so yeah well worth um, trying to book these in if you get the chance. So this is taking you back down into the main uh, touring area, uh, central location. Um, like I said, this has your, um, your shower blocks, uh, washing up for bowls and stuff like that, your cutlery. Um, down here on your left in the mornings, this is open for breakfast. Again, bacon sandwiches, anything hot, um, you can grab there up to about 11.30. You can grab the, those um, buggies there on your left hand side now they're normally they're stacked up there so if you've booked online again there's normally somebody there waiting for you so you can just hand the ticket in uh, and they'll just exchange one of the buggies there and give you like one of these flags that go in the back just so it shows that you've actually purchased the actual uh, buggy Down here on the left hand side you've got uh, two 18 hole crazy golf courses, um, one is a dinosaur theme and the other is a pirate theme, but um, yeah, both really good courses, so yeah, worth a, a little look. This is now taking you down to the entertainment area, so yeah, uh, if, if you're going to go there each evening you, it, it will be a case of walking down. Um, and like I say, it's only a few minutes, it doesn't take very long. It's just a case of, um, yeah, following this road all the way down to the end and it'll take you to the main complex. So as you come into the main complex here, this first sort of corner piece, this is where you'll find, um, there's a chip shop there. So again, that's opening of an evening 
and and that's the location you would go to the arcade and then through into the main entertainment space there is a a bar further on in this sort of restaurant area so again if you're not wanting the entertainment itself there's still a place where you can just grab a beer and, and watch something on the tv uh, sky sports or something like that and then this is just taking you out the other side of where you came in originally um, to take you back outside the park and then on the left hand side just as you go out is is the pub i was talking about it's called the clay pipe inn uh, you can uh, look online for this uh, and book a reservation um, yeah nice little pub if you book online you can get five pound off um, your first meal and it accepts blue light as well so hopefully this has given you a good idea of what to expect if you uh, attend this 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 camping site um, like I say it, it certainly has quite a bit there it is quite a large site in general both with static vans and the touring area so again there's certainly lots to do there for all age ranges of children um, but um, yeah like I say as always if you've got any questions drop them below um, uh, and if not if you could uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel as always it does help us to sort of grow the channel and uh, yeah we'll leave it there and I'll see you on the next one cheers all